connection of city and signal lines. The battery uses air as cheating the full lithium battery. We need to find a sleeve on the power distributor and place the main line and grounding wire inside the sleeve. Find another magnet with the small triangle facing downwards and check if the CDI can function properly. When how moves over the magnet and electricity is released, it indicates that the CDI can work normally. Repeat the above actions to check for the next CDI. The positive and negative poles of the input terminal must not be reversed. How has north and south poles? One how does not discharge? Turn the magnetic north and south poles and try again. All checks have been completed and there are no issues with the CDI. Let's put the CDI aside. We check the timing of the engine. There are three marked points here, all of which point downwards, indicating correct timing. The crankshaft point is downwards, and the camshaft two points are downwards. Let's keep the three points stationary and place them here. Next, we will connect the power distributor. The power distributor is divided into left and right parts, with the one with the notch installed on the right side, looking in the direction of the flywheel and the other, installed on the left side. Open all of this and take a hole wire, which corresponds to the location where the hole is installed. Similarly, insert the small triangle towards the magnet and insert it all the way to the bottom. At this point, the left part has been installed. Similarly, we install the right power distributor. Connection of CDI signal lines. The power distributor on the right is the same as the one on the left with a small triangle inserted towards the direction of the magnet and it must be fully inserted. Next, we will install the distributor holder onto the engine. This is the picture manual that comes with our factory. When the left distributor is perpendicular to the position of the screw, 
The ignition angle of the cam is correct. The distributor in this picture is on the right side, when a straight line below lines with the center position of the screw. The ignition angle of the cam on the right side is perfect. Connection of CDS signal lines next step, installing power distributor. Here, there is a point at the position of the power distributor. With the installation method point on the left facing upwards. The same goes for the right side. After we have installed all the left and right parts, the correct direction should be one left and one right. With the left side facing up left and the right side facing up right. After this step is completed, we will install the distributor holder. Okay, next step is to install the spark plug. Let's explain how to adjust the oil needle in this step. When we get an engine, here is the main oil needle, and on the right is the auxiliary oil needle. Let's first adjust the main oil needle. First, turn the main oil needle all the way clockwise, and then back. All the two and a half turns counterclockwise. Similarly, the adjustment of the carburetor is the same as before. The auxiliary oil needle is to fully open the throttle, and the distance between the auxiliary oil needle and the fuel injector is approximately equal. Then we connect the oil pipe using gasoline. The ratio of gasoline to engine oil is R should be Next, let's start the engine. To adjust the engine, it is necessary to first adjust the high speed of the engine, slightly increase the throttle, and then start it. The reason for not starting like this is because there is not enough fuel. We will open the main oil needle a little more and slowly adjust it not to open too much. Now that the engine has started, we will start the fuel. Well, if the throttle is full open, it indicates that there is no problem with high speed. 